<laughs> now the Gemara asks a question. How do I know that this verse in Vayikra, that the sun comes and sets, and then he's pure, so we know that what's required for the Kohen to eat his truma is the evening, the night setting in, and not his bringing his kapara, his sacrifice. Umimai, from where do we know the high uba Hashemesh, bias Hashemesh, where do we know that the coming of the sun means that the sun is setting? The high, the tar, tar, and coming pure is tar. Yoma Dilma Bias Oirehu, maybe it means morning coming. Who says that the sun coming means evening? Maybe it's morning. Oh, that's what it says. That's what the, the, the first says. That's the coming. question. Let me make sure that that's the question. It says, Who says that it's the conclusion of the sun in the evening, Rashi says? Maybe it's it means morning, that you have to wait till morning till the priest could eat their truma. Dilma bias oirai, maybe it's Yara Shamish Bayomashmini, the eighth day. Maybe it's the morning of the eighth day, and then he becomes pure by bringing his sacrifice. So the Gemara is now asking about this whole idea, this whole law that we just said the Mishnah wants to teach us two laws, that Shema is when the, the stars come out, and that also the Kohen can eat his teruma when the stars come out, when the night comes, even without doing his sacrifice. Who says that is true? Maybe the verse means that the sun has to come up in the morning, it has to be day, and he has to bring his sacrifice, and then he's pure. So who told you this law that you're saying the mission is coming to teach us here? That, that by night you can already eat truma, you don't need to wait to bring the sacrifices on the eighth day. Maybe it means that the sun comes up in the morning, it's the eighth day, you bring your sacrifices and then you're pure, and then you can eat truma. By bringing his sacrifice. Sacrifices never make a person tahor. No, no, yeah, no, but it's talking about maybe the, the, the conclusion of the, the, the Torah process is by, by his action of the, the, uh, of the sacrifice. The question is, does he bring the sacrifice because he's, because he's already tahor, and therefore he can bring the sacrifice, or because, or, or, or a final part of the tahara process is the sacrifice? I think the sacrifice comes after you tahor. That's you what, have to be pure. That's and, what the Talmud's going to say. And this, <laughs> the Talmud's going to say that if it's according to what you're saying now, that it means the sun comes up in the morning. And then you have to go, the person has to go and bring the sacrifice. It should say, Yitahir, if it's a commandment on the person, go become pure by bringing your sacrifice. The verse should have said, Uba Hashemesh, Ve Yitahir. He should go make himself pure by bringing the sacrifice. Since it says, Vitahir, and it becomes pure, it means automatically. Automatically, you become pure. That's what. As, as people say, Iarev Shimsha, Ba'at Kayayma. Let us hear the translation of that from the art scroll. Sorry, as people say, to the Amri Inchi. As people. Say. Oh, a, a, a person. You mean the person should make himself to whore? Yeah. Uh, by offering a sacrifice. That's the per verse where they teach him the Kohen may eat Rima only after he offers his atonement offering. Right, go on. And then just. Well, then that's kind of the end of that little part. Then, okay, go then on. Then it goes to Raba, then it goes to. Just the next part. Right, go on. We're missing one more line there. Amar, you mean Amar Rabba Bar? Um, here, this line. Oh, oops, As sorry, people I, say, the sun has set, set and, and the, the day, day has passed. passed. Okay. Footnote? Um, the footnote, the Aramaic word, uh, Ida Ki, is that it? Ida Ki, uh, yeah. Ida Ki is a translation of the Hebrew word Tahir, both of which have the literal meaning of purified or cleansed. The Gemara points to this common expression as support for the view that the word vitahir in the verse is an idiomatic expression for the complete passing of the day. Uh huh. The That's passing of the day. Very nice. So that is how we know that it's the evening and not the morning. If it meant the morning, that the morning has to come, the light has to come out, it should have said, Yitahir, you should go after bring a sacrifice. What it means is, and this is what the mission is trying to tell us here in passing, that the time for the Shema is when the stars come out in the evening. And when is that? Another thing you should know, that the Kohanim did not have to wait till they bring the sacrifice the next day as soon as the sun set. As we know from the verse in Leviticus, Uba HaShemesh Vitara, the sun, the sun comes, meaning the day completely passes, as people say, and that is the same root as the word the Tahir.
That's uh, that's the. Now we finished a. Uh, no, no, we didn't yeah. finish. Goes on. Peace goes on. We didn't continue. We didn't conclude yet. It says in Israel they didn't know of this idea of Rabba Bar of Shila, and they also discussed this verse. They didn't know what the verse meant here. The sun comes, sets in the evening, and then he's automatically, or the sun comes in the morning up and it's light, and he has to bring a sacrifice, and then he's pure. We didn't know. The sun's like the sun's coming. It's like. And how did they learn it? They learned it from this saying. Well, that's why the Mishnah has to tell us this here. We would not know this. From this saying here about Shema, that it's the time when the stars go out, they knew that it's the evening. Because here, it could, that's why, this is why the, the, the Tana had to bring this in and say it in such a way about the Shema. Because it was so complicated, we really didn't know what this verse in Leviticus meant about Kohana meaning Truma. So that is the big idea that the, the first Mishnah in the Talmud is explaining us in passing, that that verse in Leviticus means sun setting, the time of the stars going out.